get up to a comfortable level for my back, one of the next things I would do is inform the patient, hey, I'm about to lift your sheet up, okay? I am going to open your legs and lift your legs up, okay? As you all see, the patient has a Foley catheter um, sticking out. So this is the patient's uh, Foley catheter, okay? With this skill, if it comes to a point that you're stretching the Foley catheter, it's okay to lift it up because you do not want to yank this out the patient uh, urethra. So with this skill, you need to pr um, place a barrier up under the patient's thighs. It's okay to use a towel or it's okay to use a bed pad. But if they have a bed pad already under the patient, you need to replace it. But to make it easier so you don't have to reposition the patient or anything, I would just literally use a towel. Stuff the towel up under them so if any fluid spill, it can fall directly on the towel. One of the first things that really that should have occurred before I even um, begin a skill is me testing the water and me allowing my patient to test the water. Is this water comfortable for you? It's comfortable. Yes, it's comfortable for the um, patient, okay? You need to make a mitten with your glove. And again, you do not drop soap in the water or pour soap in the water or anything like that. I can wet up my mitten, get this towel really soapy, okay? Once it's really soapy, the first thing you would do is as the same thing you do with perineal clear when you're cleaning the vagina is open the lips. Once you open the lips, you will wipe completely down with one portion of the towel and you would um, hit each side with the other portions of the towel, not contaminating the towel. So you would go down, pop, pop, and then you can soap up the pubic area, clean that pubic area. I'm lifting your leg back up, ma'am. And you can... um. Wash the inner thighs, okay? Wash the inner thighs. After that, I will um, rinse, create a mitten where I will actually rinse, okay? Opening the vagina lips back.